This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. The next type of site that we want to look at is the site known as a search engine. Search engines are designed to search for information. They're designed to search for information across the World Wide Web and FTP servers. When I use a search engine to execute a search, it's going to list my results in the order of relevance, and these results are called hits. You know, so I did a Google search on your site or this name, and I got 100,000 hits. The results can contain web pages. They can contain files, pictures, media, any other types of files. Now, most search engines will also highlight the applicable text in the search results. So if I searched for uh, Internet Basics, then Internet Basics might be highlighted in the, uh, in the hits that are displayed. So order of relevance, usually only showing you the top 10 or top 20, highlighting the applicable text in the results. These are all functions of a search engine. Now, as we said, uh, the word search engine is almost synonymous with Google nowadays. You know, I don't really usually, I don't usually say I'm going to go search the internet. I say I'm going to go Google that. And that's the terminology that a lot of people use because Google is, has become so big. Uh, but there are other sites. There's Ask Jeeves, there's Ask.com, there's Asta, uh, uh, Alta Vista, there's Dogpile, there are Yahoo and Bing and you have a variety of search engines to choose from and really the ones the one that you choose is going to be based on your experience with that site now some search engines might provide even additional capabilities ask.com is one of those another is trueknowledge.com and these are the ability to answer questions you know typically with a search engine we're supposed to just search for words we're not supposed to ask uh, the search engine how do i make chili no, I would be searching for chili recipe, you know, but some of these sites, these knowledge based sites will actually allow you to ask questions uh, like the former and, and get an answer. Okay? Taking the search engine concept and integrating it into the browser is what we call a search provider. A search provider is simply, uh, instead of requiring me to go to google.com instead of requiring me to go to Bing, uh, I will add it into the browser and then either through the address bar or through a separate search box on a toolbar, uh, I can simply and easily do those searches. Okay, some search providers will be installed by default. Your browser will have a default search provider that it will use and then you'll have the ability to add additional ones. Um, the choice, again, is going to be completely up to you, but you might install multiple search providers and I might switch back and forth between them depending on what it is I'm searching. You know, for instance, if I really want to look for something on eBay, then I'll add the eBay search provider to my browser rather than going to Google and searching it to click a link to go to eBay. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. And so we will have actual search providers that aren't really search engines. You know, it's just searching a specific site uh, for something. So, you know, obviously with the vast amount of information that's on the internet, I have to have the ability to search and pinpoint the information that I actually want to have. And search engines and search providers are going to provide me with that capability. Let's take a look at another demonstration and walk through the basics of searching and finding information on the internet. 